A listening exercise. Clothing styles. Hey, Jake, are you ready for your trip? Well, <clears throat> not really. <clears throat> I still have to buy some clothes. Well, what's the weather like where you're going? Well, um, it's usually hot in the summer, so I'm going to buy some shorts, sandals, and a few t-shirts. Uh, what about the rest of the year? People say that the fall can still be warm until November, so I'm going to buy some jeans and a few casual shirts. Jake, will you need to buy any warm clothes for the winter? Ashley, well, the weather doesn't seem too cold, but it often snows in the mountains. So I'm going to buy a couple of warm sweaters, a jacket, and a hat. Uh, I don't have room in my suitcase to pack a coat, so I'm going to wait until I get there, and I'm going to buy it when I really, really need it. Jake, are you going to take anything else? Um, they say that it rains cats and dogs in the spring, but again, I'll probably just wait and pick up a raincoat or an umbrella later on. But I'm going to take a good pair of shoes because I plan on walking to and from school every day. Do you need any clothing for formal occasions? Ashley, well, you never know when you're going to need to get something on the spur of the moment, um, like a, for a wedding or maybe someone's graduation or a nice date. So I'll probably take some nice slacks, a dress shirt, and a couple of uh, crazy ties or two. Um, that makes sense, Jake. And I guess I'll rent a tuxedo if I need anything more formal. Hey, maybe I'll get married. You? Married? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? I can't imagine you decked out in a tuxedo for any formal occasion. What? I mean, for high school graduation, you wore an old pair of jeans and tennis shoes. Hey, there's a reason for that, so let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, you see, it goes like this. <laughs>